the speak. <laughs> Melt in the mouth, cookie, dessert, take one. <laughs> Woo, I'm always anxious to do that. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel Little Miss Bake. I'm Aoife and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my gorgeous melt in the mouth chocolate chip cookie dessert. This is a gorgeous cookie that's easy for sharing with friends and family. I'm going to be serving with it with a homemade caramel sauce, some gorgeous chocolate drizzled over the top and finished off with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Okay, so let's get started on the recipe. Now this is another easy recipe of mine where you just throw everything into the bowl, mix it up, and then we're gonna pop the mixture into the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour for the dough to get nice and firm before we bake it in the oven. So we're gonna start off with 80 grams of lightly packed brown sugar, 65 grams of caster sugar, and 150 grams of butter. Now I have taken the butter out of the fridge about um, an hour before starting the recipe because you want it to be nice and um, soft so that, that it will combine well with the sugar. So we're gonna pop our butter in here uh, along with our sugar, both our sugars, and we're gonna cream the butter and sugar together first before we add our flour, eggs, and then chocolate chips. Okay, so as you can see here, our butter and sugar has combined nicely and it's really important to take your butter out of the fridge about an hour before starting the recipe so that it can combine well with the sugar. Now to this, I'm gonna add one egg, 150 grams of self-raising flour, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one pinch of baking soda. And then we're gonna pop it back on our mixer and then we'll be ready to add our chocolate chips. So as you can see here, our batter has come together nicely and it's still quite moist at this stage. And that's why we're gonna pop it into the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour so it can firm up before we shape it into our giant cookie shape. So to the batter, I've added 50 grams of just plain milk chocolate chips, and I'm just gonna mix these through by hand, and then we are ready to pop it into the fridge to cool down. I've also held back about 30 grams of chocolate chips, and we're gonna put them on the top at the end before we bake the cookie. Okay, so our dough has come together and we have added our lovely chocolate chips. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump all of our mixture onto a sheet of cling film here, which I have laid out. We're gonna wrap it up and pop it in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour. Empty out as best I can the cookie dough until we have it all on our sheet of cling film and then wrap it up nicely. So as you can see I've just dumped all the cookie dough into the middle of the cling film here and I'm just going to fold it over like so, make a little parcel, pat it down slightly into this nice disc shape and then this is going to go into the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour until it comes nice and firm. So I've taken the cookie dough out of the fridge, it's been in there for about an hour and as you can see it's kind of firmed up nicely and it's no longer crumbly and I am just rolling it out with some excess flour here and I'm just rolling it out to a nice size so that it's ready to go into our dish which I've prepared here with some parchment paper. So as you can see here my cookie dough I've just placed it into my baking dish and I'm just kind of pressing it down with my fingers to make sure it's nice and even all the way around and then I'm going to continue with my chocolate chips so I've saved about 30 grams of chocolate chips back and I'm just going to sprinkle them over the top like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press them down with the palm of my hand so they go into the cookie dough like so and then this is going to go into the oven at 180 degrees for 30 minutes and you'll know the cookie is done when it's nice and crispy and golden brown on the edges and the centre is still going to be a bit gooey and cookie dough like and that's what's going to make a melt in the mouth cookie dough dessert. Okay, so while our gorgeous cookie is baking in the oven, we're gonna make our gorgeous homemade caramel sauce. Now for this, you will need 220 grams of softly packed light brown sugar, 55 grams of butter, and 100 ml of double cream. You will also need some vanilla extract that we're gonna add in afterwards. And I just have a pan here heating on a medium heat, ready to add all our ingredients in. So I've added all my ingredients to the pan here and it's just on a medium heat and I'm just whisking them all together and I'm going to continue to do this for a further five to seven minutes until the caramel has thickened slightly and then we're going to add our vanilla essence and further whisk it for another minute. So we're now going to add our vanilla essence and then we are going to pop it in the fridge to cool further and thicken slightly. So 
So our giant chocolate chip, chip sharing cookie has just come out of the oven and it is looking fantastic. It's nice and golden brown on the edges, but it's still a little bit gooey in the center and that's exactly what we're looking for. And now we're ready to add our melted chocolate, caramel sauce and vanilla ice cream. So there we have it guys, my gorgeous melting them out chocolate chip sharing cookie finished off with homemade caramel sauce drizzled with milk chocolate and a scoop of vanilla ice cream. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video today. Please let me know by subscribing, liking and commenting and I really look forward to hearing what you have to say and don't forget to check me out on Instagram at littlemissbake underscore. I cannot wait to eat this. <laughs>